All right. Good morning, children. Good news. Cappy woke up much like it would be Christmas morning. And Santa came. And if you were in the Cappy household, you never got what you wanted because Santa was po. He was po. And he'd be down and depressed. Oh, I didn't get the truck I wanted. Anyway, uh, Santa did deliver. I submitted the book, The Menu, Life Without the Opposite Sex, to Amazon, and it got approved. Uh, they don't do editorial approving. They just want to make sure it meets their quality standards like images and that stuff. They're actually quite libertarian and free speech when it comes to that. So I do applaud them for that. But the menu, <clears throat> Life Without the Opposite Sex, is available for sale. This is the first book that I wrote for uh, a general audience, both men and women. Obviously, most of my books in the past are targeted towards men, although women could read them and, and uh, their finances would improve. But it, obviously, my target is men. But... We've had a fair amount of women, uh, female clients come in asking some questions, and I give them very specific and helpful advice to their particular situation. But I did notice, as many of you did, <clears throat> that men and women really don't like each other right now. And that's sad and tragic because that is what largely gave men and women point, purpose, reason, and uh, uh, existence for being. Uh, and then the little things, the little ones that would come along called children raising a family. Um, <clears throat> So the all people in the West, generally first world nations, and Asia, Japan, Korea, China, um, everyone is facing an existential crisis of, well, what do we do if the opposite sex wants nothing to do with us? We're not going to have family and kids. Well, may I introduce to you the menu link below. And what I do is I go through as not everything obvious. Well, what do you want? Well, do you like... <clears throat> I don't know, raising ferrets? Well, the, you found happiness, okay? Raising ferrets was not mentioned in the the menu. Um, but I try to go through categorically all the main things that in the past have given men and women, people, point, purpose, and reason in living <clears throat> outside of having a family. Uh, and if some of you still had hope, oh, <clears throat> oh, you people with your hope. Oh, you Obama believers. Hope, okay. How'd it work for you? <laughs> when has hope ever worked for you? When? When is that? When in the history of humanity has hope ever worked? Now, for those of you that had hope, I kind of eliminate it right off the bat because I organize it like a menu. There's there's shareable, uh, you know, shareables, appetizers, both for men and women. <clears throat> then there's a women's menu, and then there's a men's menu, then there's desserts. And uh the the both for the women's and men's menu, the first thing I say is, all right, now knock this hope stuff off. This is going to happen. But now a lot of it, and I'll tell you this, see, now for you guys, most of you guys could, some, especially if you're on this channel, you, you probably you probably don't need the book. I'll be perfectly honest uh, because we've talked about this at, at length before. Uh, however, as with any written work, it's more focused and organized. So if you want to digest it or if you're new, it, it, you, you could certainly buy it. But even though you um, you may be like, I don't really need it, you got to read the intro where I destroy all men's hope. I draw a parallel and an analogy from the speech uh, Spears gave Blythe in Band of Brothers. It is just, I, honestly, I think it's like the most brutal page of writing in my entire writing career. I was like, dang, Cappy, <sighs> look at that. Ain't no one getting up from that. How's your hope now? <laughs> oh, it's just devastating. I'm like, that was good. That was good. So if you, um, <clears throat> if you're like on the fence, not, not just for my own financial incentives, you may want to get for that. I would also say, because I've written for a female audience here, um, it, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest and disclosing when you remove the opposite sex from one another and you remove this point, purpose and reason we all had in existence, it is, uh, well, it's unemotional and it is very programming, very robotic, very just, just the computer executing on cold postulate a <clears throat> assumption a don't need no man. There are no men in life. Conclusions. And I just conclude all this stuff. And and it's not wrong. It's I'm not even lying to these girls. They oh, Operation Evil. Oh no, this is this is to test. This is the I'm testing a couple of things with Operation Evil here, writing for a female audience. But what I wrote is just the logical conclusion. Like, okay, you don't need a man. What do you have in life? And I 
I'm using phrases like, well, since you'll be familyless, <laughs> since you'll since you'll you'll be alone, and it's not to besmirch or, or hurt people's feelings. Like, no, it's true. It's absolutely you're gonna be alone. All right, you know, you got it. Yeah, the, the statistics show one in two of you ain't getting married and never having no all right. What is that? What are the conclusions? What do we deduce? What are the consequences? And here you go. And uh, and I was reading, I'm like, man, this is so sad we got to this point, huh? <clears throat> It is so sad that the sexes have abandoned one another where it's like, no, thank you. I'm out. No, thank you. I'm gone. No, thank you. Don't need you. And then you look like what? And now there's, there's fun stuff. <clears throat> it's not as good. I'd say as love and forming family and falling in love, but you still like, look, it's like, well, look, it was either you do this or death. Like you commit suicide, which we don't advocate. So you are, this is a, this is a, existential question going to face at least half the population today and certainly more going forward as we all go more polarized and into our respective corners. <clears throat> and it is a question you're going to have to answer. Like, what do I do with my life? Well, you can't have kids. You can't get married. I mean, you could, there's a statistical chance of that, but in, in the very high chance that that don't happen and you're not happily married anyway, what do you do? Well, here it is. I like to be a little proud of myself. Just point out that this is new product, new material. No one's come up with this before. I've never been here before. I'm the first one. We're going to keep going this way. Do you think we better find out a reason to live? Here you go. The menu. Life without the opposite sex. Um, it is available in paperback now. I'll get to the Kindle later. I got to go to the gym and I got to golf. Do you really have to golf? Yes, I have to. It's an obligation. Going to the municipal course, so it's it's not that expensive. That's assuming there's even open spots. <clears throat> All these old, retired, rich guys clogging up my golf course. You'll be golfing with the Kratowskis today. Oh, great, the Kratowskis. Ah, oh, hi, how you doing? Yeah, you know, share, share a cart. <clears throat> um, but the Kindle will be coming up later. I got a, I got a text. Jack, see if he wants to see I get a price quote for the audio. Audio obviously comes later because that takes time recording. And that's it. There you go. So it's available for sale. Uh, I hope it gives you a point and reason to live. Um, I dedicated it uh, in honor of Fred, a chapter uh, who unfortunately took his life, what, two months ago? Because he, he didn't find reason to live. So if we can help find you guys and gals and gals point and purpose and reason to live. Uh, please get the menu. Hey, hey, you may not need it, but you know someone who's depressed and all dark-pilled and everything? Here you go, the menu. Cappy, do you expect half your pot uh, purchases to be girls? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't put pink flowery BS on it. I I mean, I, I did write to a female a feminist audience even. Uh, it, it's true, but I didn't. I didn't make it all pretty. I, here it is. Do you want it or not? I'm not going to treat you like a 13-year-old girl reading Teen Vogue. And if there's any girls out there you want to promote to your female friends, I appreciate it. I got That's a whole other project I got to do. And now I got to market to women. So I got to delve into that world, get some contacts. And that's the other thing. Like, hi, I'm this red pill guy. Like, literally your adversary. But I wrote something that might help out your team. Do you have any interest in helping me out? And I have a feeling. The answer will be no. Hadn't clogs for two bucks. Howdy, nice. Yeah, I just got up. Just got up. I got my coffee, though. Got my coffee. Well, thank you, Rachel. I got to read Rachel's book. If you search Rachel Wilson, it's something like Feminism in the Occult. She got on Tucker Carlson. She's big time now. She, I'm surprised she remembers us little people. I'm surprised she re remembers us. Now she's big time. Um, <clears throat> once that gets in an audio book, I'll go ahead and read it. Uh, Tyrone W, new guy, I think. Don't recognize the name. Five bucks, Cappy. Since you like Crackdown, I highly recommend Just Cause 2. Think Grand Theft Auto, but Southeast Asia with a grappling hook parachute. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I've wiped out the, uh, the, the Los Muertos. I got that gang. The Volk, I just finished off, and now I'm going after the, the Shai Gen. And uh, yeah, it's just been a fun game, a real fun game. I love it. That was, uh, I'm still playing. I got to finish it before I fly back to South Dakota because I'm not hauling my Xbox 360 on the plane. Let's block that guy. There we go. Um, 
Ant-Man runs. Five bucks. I learned this the hard way in Vegas. Chasing the girls is such a negative ROI. One, okay, and a related gentleman, <clears throat> to help you give up hope so you're not wasting your life, go get the book of numbers, analyzing the ROI and the pursuit of women. Women could buy it too because if you look at the opposite data, it's an analysis of men as well. So I'm, again, I'm not... Here, ladies, here's a book on statistics. Oh, watch them gobble that up. <clears throat> it's audited by an actuary. I am morbidly curious to see how successful this goes with women, though. I'll, I'll be perfectly honest because I'm, I'm straight one right across the plate. See, here it is, ladies. Here, just here. Uh, Claire's Gaston, uh, 10 bucks hit cap. Congratulations on the new book. I'll purchase it today. Can't wait to read it. Yep. Uh, Kindle come out. Give me a week. So those of you like when's the kind if you're more of a Kindle man or woman, um, that'll, that'll come out soon. I just want a little bit of a break <clears throat> here. Here's it. My book is occult feminism. The secret history of women's liberation. Thanks for shot. Well, no, you guys helped me out. And I do want to read it. That does sound interesting going through the history. I did not have, no, it had some, some tangent relationship with the occult. I guess you know, I'm sure everything else does, but all right, there you go. So the link is below. Remember when you write a review, say it's it's really good. You could say it sucks, but as long as at the end you say slightly better than Rich Cooper's Unplugged Alpha, I really appreciate it. So we'll see you guys later. Toodles.